Jimdo website tutorial. Create a free website using Jimdo. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can get started with Jimdo. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is head on over to Jimdo.com. Now, what is Jimdo exactly? Well, this is a online platform that enables you to create your website without having to make, you know, without having to learn code. It's a simple website builder. Plus, it has no transactional fees on your product or your profit. They offer shipping and local pickup options. You can have uh, appointment booking. You can take payments via PayPal or Stripe and manage all of your orders in one place as well as link on Instagram and Facebook. So you guys can see that they have quite a lot of different example sites over here and you can easily replicate one of these sites and you can see they have quite a few different options like logo makers as well so you can create your own logo directly from Jimdo as well. So let's get into creating own website. Now once you go into jimdo.com you can click on products and you have website or online store. Now if you're looking to create a website to sell any kind of product or service then you want to definitely use online store and you want to start listing products and you know set up your site accordingly obviously a e-commerce website is very different than a basic website so for those people they should definitely go with online store for us today we are going to be creating a simple website now once you have clicked on that you will just click on start for free and you can sign up using your facebook google apple or email address so we're just going to continue on over here you're going to accept the terms of service and then you're going to log on to your gmail account over here and once you have completed that they will start asking you questions so first off you can create a beautiful website no coding required and then they also have a uh, expert editor for people that are professionals so we're going to click on create now on the no coding required one because we are looking to create a easy website that we can do as um, you know basic business startups so we are a single individual i'm going to accept the cookies now you can skip these steps but you can you know uh use these questionnaires to better help set them up but i will rename this to dead and clothing and then after that this will actually show you any of your google listings if you're using your google account to create your website it's going to ask you if you have you know uh any of these google listings are representative of this specific business so we have this one and i'm going to continue on over here then you can add the specific goals of your website so let's say that i want to uh maybe get bookings online or you know whatever is the main purpose of your website let's say i want to promote my content then i would click on continue and then you can collect your photos from facebook or instagram i'm going to skip this and then you can add the basic niche of your website so for us let's say it's fashion and clothing and then you can choose a specific style that you would like to be applied to your website so you have modern minimal fresh dark natural elegant so we have a few styles i think i will go with um dark and then you have multiple different color scheme recommendations let's go with this one over here and then you have some basic things so these are the basic widgets that you are going to add to your website you have services gallery contact appointments about me news consulting portfolio so let's say for us we don't have services gallery contact news yeah i think i want to go with that and then just like that this is going to load up some basic starting points now you guys can see they have actually created you know different templates that i can get started with if i want these templates are created according to the information that i just provided or you can click on skip this step we're going to skip the domain part as well you can link your own domain if you have already bought one but this will go on ahead and open up your template now once you have opened up your template you can begin customizing it now you guys can see on the top left we have add your favicon so you can upload your specific logo over here if you want to add that uh, directly on the top section but we can see we have our basic header block we have the website name and that is linked i think i'm going to remove this button so for that i will just click on edit website you guys can see this is our website editor so i am going to click on this section and delete it and then you can you know delete the entire section if you want 
and I think I'm going to go into the design. Now, once you have, you know, your basic website, you can start adding more information. Let's say you want to change the background. You can click on these three dots. You can remove any section. You can copy it. You can block this specific design and change the layout. So you have multiple different layouts. Let's say I want this one. I can do this. I also have this layout, this layout. So you have quite a few different options. Let's say I want to change, you know, like the overlay color. You can also do that as well. I'm going to go with black however then if you want to apply a basic design change to your entire website all you have to do is click on design and then you have your specific website design if you want rounded logos oval if you want fade in animations slide in animations so on and so forth now after that you have your pages now in your pages you're going to find all the basics that you added in the previous questionnaire and if you want to create new pages you can simply click on add new page and then start adding a specific page in accordance to what it is going to display now if you want to edit a different page you can go on ahead and click on go to and this will open up that specific page this is a gallery page and this has multiple different images to add more images we can go on ahead and click on add block and we can click on image and then we can add this block over here and then upload our own images so we can just click on this click on choose image and then i can upload my own images or i can just select you know some of the stock images that are available if i want to do that that's totally up to you obviously you want to upload your own brand content now once you have completed your basic setup you can click on these settings over here on the left side of your screen and this will lead you to your Jimdo dashboard. Now over here, you can set the website language and you are going to publish your website once you've completed. So once you have the language ready, you have all of your pages ready and you know all the information displayed, you want to click on publish on the top right of your website editor. And just like that, you guys can see our website is now live and it has been created. You have a cookie policy, you have you know all your different information, your pages, now to get more with your website you can go into my websites and then you have show dashboard over here and now from here you can monitor the stats of the marketing the email contacts all of that great in information all that good stuff can be measured from over here as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.